Hello everybody, this is Conquering History Games, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 Führerreich, the Imperial Federation, Part 21. Uh, things are going pretty well for us right now. We're about to get a big cutoff here in the United Provinces, and we just finished things up here in Costa Rica. Let's go ahead and take everything. Great. Now, I think I could go ahead and start justifying, or have I already done that? Yes. So in two months, we will be at war with Colombia and Peru which is Portuguese for Turkey, if you never knew that. Uh, so we got that taken care of. Um, so I think the 24 divisions I have in this area will still be enough to take care of it. But I suppose it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world to set up another 24 in this region where, let's see, we need more Patriot divisions. Where are they at? Here we go, the Patriot divisions. Actually, that's a terrible idea. Let's um, set up some. What's gonna be better? We got a lot of rivers to deal with. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna duplicate and edit this. We're gonna do. We're gonna create some jungle people. So we need. Wait, no, no. So these are gonna be a mix of mountain and marine infantry. Uh, I mean, so we're going to do mountains, mountains, and mountains, and we're going to switch this to a regular infantry division, so in forest, we're going to take a negative, in jungle, we're going to take a slight negative, but now we're going to get a bonus in hills, marshes, mountains, against forts, over rivers, we're getting that 23%, yeah, okay, that is going to have to do it, so that's going to be our jungle warfare people. Which I think now are going to be at the very bottom. Yep. Start setting up some of them out here. All right, unassigned divisions. 18 mountaineers. We're going to put these over here and put them along this border. Get making your way over there as rapidly as possible, please. So, military factories that are open. What are we short on? Modern tanks. Supremely short on them. Uh, I think that's what we want to just start dumping everything into now. Like so. Naval dockyards, that doesn't matter. Uh, we've got the modern self-propelled artillery. That that really doesn't matter too much either. It looks like our main issue here is that we're just short on steel. Where's that put me? Still pretty short. Seriously. There we go, Belgium. No, still not enough. Okay, the commune of Greece and Japan. And we're basically absorbing the entire world's oil. I mean, all the steel in the world. So, uh... Let's uh, maybe develop some of these other areas a little bit. We got some steel here, here. I don't know. Hmm. We're about to. We're close. We're close to getting control, though, of the steel capital of the world. All right, that's done. Submarine operations, and something else was just finished. It looked like. Hmm. I think these guys might need a little nuke to help them along. No, we don't have enough air superiority in the region. Okay, here we go. We have it once again. The freaking uh, what is it? What is this? It's like over. It's like 2.1 million fighters. Let's go ahead and disband that. <laughs> All right, better. Now the rest of these people can actually fly. Huh. What are we going to do here? Oh, we definitely do not have that superiority that we need out there. Also, we're starting to run into some attrition issues due to supply shortages. Uh, all right, the modern tanks were able to break through out here. Good. Now we can focus on this area, creating a spearhead towards Berlin rapidly. I want to make sure that uh, we don't lose these guys. But once this pocket's been taken care of, like I said before, we're gonna we'll start making our way. Oh, dang it! They just got to the base again. Oh my goodness! Y'all are gonna make me lose my mind up in here. Okay, we got these five. Come on. Come up this way. Keep continuing this encirclement. 
They've got a stranglehold on Eindhoven. All right. Okay, one tank division in position. Hmm. Oh, that's right. These guys have been training for ages. Whoopsie. All right. 3,000 modern tanks in the hole. It's going to take over a year to replace all of them. I've got one of these being set up, but I probably should really stop. It says I'm only making seven a day. How does that make any sort of sense? <sighs> what am I going to do about this? ton of close air support I don't need. Let's try to get back over here and you guys uh, strategically bomb some air bases, I think. Out here. Or something. Yeah. That'll do. That'll do just fine. Where are the rest of my tanks? Still got a bunch of them back here. Come on. They're all supposed to be over here, and you're not moving for some reason. Supply issues, right, of course. Of course it is supply issues. Come on, keep the pressure on Eindhoven. All right, at least we have our tanks here, so we're gonna be able to tear through these so-called Patriot divisions in this area. Oh, he has now become a, a Panzer leader. So let's grab Panzer Expert next. Great. Okay, we got it. Now, what are the German casualties looking like these days? Nine million and counting. Cool. Hmm. Do I want to go after Portugal or should I go after Spain next? Who knows who makes the world. Who else was I justifying on? Was it Afghanistan? Yes, it was. That'll be May 18th. Hmm. I don't see any sign of my mountain divisions in this area, so we're going to wait on that. But what I want to do now is we're gonna pause and we're gonna delete all of these lines it is just a complete mess out here okay let's go one at a time I have 24 of you up here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten yeah that should be fine all right you're set there the next 24 Oops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, let's do that. Okay, then from here. Whoops. No, no, no. We're going to take you like this. All right. We have the emus down here, so they really should be in the assigned to the Indian front. Uh, we have an 11 here let's go ahead and convert these all to make it easier uh, now where are you at these are Canadian forces by rights they should be up here we, you guys are gonna be continuously a part of the line okay what's next uh, we got these 11 here and these 10 we're gonna go ahead and intermix you with the Americans let's see if we could have you changed into Marines if possible mmm no 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 I want the Marines can't turn them into Kiwi Marines can't turn them into Calcutta Marines do I not have any homegrown Marine divisions okay then tell you what we're gonna instead we'll just turn you also into the Royal Marines oh no you already are the Royal Marines but anyway we're gonna Delete your orders, and let's start thinking about 
where we're going to naval invade. Denmark's not involved in the war, but I could go after Norway. Although, is that a waste of time and maybe I should instead focus on... I gotta take out Germany, Poland, Italy, and Romania. What I could do is I could have them kind of hop this way across the English Channel. Okay, let's just sort of pull them back for now. All right, who else is not assigned properly? You guys, here. Maybe like that. A little bit of overlap. Who else not assigned over here? Uh, we've got 24 of you, you're here. Um, okay, so there's gonna be some overlap in these divisions, which is fine, because we got a whole lot of fighting to do. But as it spreads out, I'll make it cleaner. I'll start to make it cleaner. Oh yeah, we have all of our mountaineers here. Let's pull them back into England. Uh, those are the militia. Okay, who else? Still not doing anything. Lord Verrecker, Lord Gort. John Verrecker, Lord Gort. Uh, so these are the Knook divisions. Hmm. Let's have some of you start coming down here towards Italy. Speaking of Italy, let's take a look. Uh, yeah, looks like the organization has fallen to naught over here. So we got a nice big encirclement here, which we're now going to take advantage of. Excellent. All right, so it's gonna it's kind of starting to clean itself up a little bit. We got 26 of you. We're just gonna pull. We're gonna start pulling some of these divisions out of the area. Uh, who else is not doing anything? Yeah, these are basically worthless. We're just going to disband them. Uh, all right. Get a little bit, little less crowded now. A little less crowded now. A little less crowded now. A little less crowded now. All right. Lots of red. A lot of movement happening out here. Um, oh yes, and how could we forget our modern tank divisions? Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna put you here, and get you over to Rostock, and then we'll start thinking about how we're going to uh, relieve relieve the, the Kiel army. Supply issues are already looking much better. They're not totally fixed, though. Why are these guys green? Did I send them out early, and I just forgot or something, or did I convert them from something else? It's tough to say. Alright, 2.8k in the hole. Hmm. Here we go. All right, so from from now on, we're gonna we're gonna try to go for uh, manual. Ooh, no, we're gonna go for manual um, control of our tank divisions here. Let's get some force attack going so we can really move. The terrain is minus 50. Seriously? with the Okay, I think at this point, I think I do need to put the engineers in there. It's going to be worth the other losses. We're going to, okay, so... Maintenance, logistic, and engineers. So this is going to lower my armor a bit. But it's actually going to increase my soft attack. Piercing and armor, yeah, it's going down a bit. But I think overall I'm still going to be fine. Okay. Really? We don't have manpower? There we go. It just <laughs> uh, I'm looking up here. I'm pretty sure if there's one thing I've got, it's manpower. Oh, I have negative 150 million uh, soldiers in training. How interesting. Okay, so... The, the river crossing, the terrain penalties, they're all still pretty rough. So we're dealing with, it's yeah, low supply, terrain, and river crossing combined. Makes for a bad time. Okay, so we got that done. Let's come over here now. And it's time for the war with Colombia. Which, when we're done, 
is going to give us the should give us the um, border with uh, La Plata and all the rest. So like Bolivia, Chile, Argentina, uh, this whole pact down here. I thought it was a pact. No, pact of La Plata, but I guess not. Uh, that uh, yeah, that we're gonna we need to take out over here. Nobody home up here in the north. They're all all fighting Brazil, I guess. Also, since we are at war with them, we can begin to break out with these divisions. Large ships on low strength. It's just one out there in the Mediterranean. Okay, now let's come back over here and uh, see what we could do about... I don't think we're going to be able to encircle these guys out to the south of Rome. We could try. I'm not feeling great about it, though. Hmm. Modern tanks pissing them away. Damn. All right, this is called Peruin. Not running into too many issues. And I am aware that I've got uh, a couple, i got some divisions that are ready to deploy, but it could wait a little bit. That anti-tank rifle is going to be so key. Just got to get over the big old river. What's left to do? Okay, we got it. We did it. We're over the river. Uh, onwards to Rostock. Nice. Okay. And then without that, yeah, without those penalties, though, we still have a little bit of soft, a slow attack. Uh, low supply happening to us. Still getting the shore bombardments too. But it's still pretty good. I can also tell their line is becoming noticeably stretched. Oh yeah. Got 414 army experience. Let's go ahead and finally make the ultimate um, ultimate modern tank ever. Uh, we're going to create a variant on this. Pump up the armor. And we're going to call this one... Let's call this one, since it's three, we'll call this one the Richard Three. The Richard the Third. Where'd it go? Right here. Okay. Goodness gracious. <laughs> Got a lot of catching up to do. Production efficiency cap is definitely down. Making eight a day, and I need thousands. Wow. No, actually, I just thought of something better to do with that. Uh, let's come over here to infantry. Yep, I knew I wasn't done with all of these yet. Right, they made it to Rostock, but it looks like my division up in Kiel has died. It's a real shame. Hamburg. Was that, was that always had the O in, uh, in uh, Führerreich? I guess I just never noticed it before. All right, yeah, it looks like they are starting to pull back into Germany proper. I think they're abandoning France. Yeah, I think I could just walk right in. The Germans are, that is. And so if they are going to abandon France, let's go ahead and oblige them. And... Wait, no. Not that one. This one. But yeah, that's what I was saying. Let's, let's oblige them. And uh, throw on the auto attack. Really, they got Calais. Hmm. Okay, excellent, excellent. Next, uh, what is next for Arthur Percival here and his deadly, deadly tank? So we're already done with uh, Columbia. Good. 
Oh, we can't do that. Alright, let's reset. Okay. Um, wait a second. No, we still need to reset. Shoot, I'm not going to get Peru now. Well, that was my fault. Oh, good, I'm still at war with them, actually. Okay, good, 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 good. The fate of Colombia, uh, direct rule would cost me 200. That's going to be a no-go. Let's go ahead and put a friendly government in charge down here. Under Jorge Elisier Gaitan. Let's see, Venezuela's got some oil, but... I don't really need oil, do I? I got a ton of refineries at steel that I'm mostly short on, although, yeah, I am starting to cut into the steel-making areas of the world. So now, in addition to having no manpower, there is no country for old men in Germany. Uh, they're now going to be running out of equipment, so everything is going to start to accelerate, and in fact, we're just going to go ahead and have everybody attacking all the time. Except uh, I'm in the wrong front. That's the Indian front. <laughs> Whoops. Except for you, Percival. No, no, you're you're not. Okay, good. You're not auto attacking. Yeah, look at that. They're green. <sighs> How annoying. Yeah, so they're gonna they're gonna start running out of equipment, and they are already out of manpower. So we can uh, we could start speeding this up. I don't think I'm gonna finish off Germany today in this in this episode, but. We're going to get pretty close. Yeah, everybody's crumbling. What was that? What was that green flag? Who is that? Missed it. Oh, well. Doesn't matter. Uh, let's check in on the Italian front again. They are... No, they are not thinning it out at all over here. Empire Day once more. Thanks for the political power. Uh, I'm not doing any occupations, am I? Yes, I am. Considering peace, uh, months have passed since the Argentinian troops took over the Falklands. However, we have been too occupied with our other conflict to be able to take them back. Now stretching our resources on this matter for some islands of little value has grown very unpopular, and both people in the government as well as common people are supporting we just let uh, Argentina have the Falklands. What should we do? Give it up, or we won't give up on one bit. We won't give up on one bit. Now, uh, having said that, let's go ahead and fix this occupation policy so I can actually get some political power every day again. Okay. Now, what is outdated here? Uh, it's just the Navy stuff. There's no Navy that can challenge me. And it doesn't even matter anymore right now. Uh, modern tank count. All right, look at that. We're making 10 a day. Whoa. How far? Let's see. How's Germany's actually looking pretty roughed up. I think if I get Berlin and Munich, that should be enough uh, to call game. On them, that is. So once I'm done with the Pact of Steel, I have my South American War that I still need to finish up. Yeah, I basically have to defeat all of South America that is not Ecuador or Brazil. Uh, although we're about to start up one here in Argentina, and I'm just bringing all this up because of the whole uh, Cape to Calcutta thing. The, the railroad, which is going to take 140 days of peace, which I don't have right now anyway. I think we could actually go to five speed. Uh, things are firing pretty well on all of the fronts. Let's see, the Ottomans, they still have a quarter of a million men. Berlin has fallen. British government announced today that Imperial forces had entered the German capital of Berlin. Uh, Berlin has been captured while denied to us in the Great War. Today marks a momentous day in our war against the German. The army has successfully captured Berlin with support from the Royal Air Force. Bitter fighting erupted almost immediately as our soldiers entered the city. Although it was not enough to delay our advance and capture of important landmarks around the city, the German Fuhrer is said to have fled the city days ago, and his whereabouts are currently unknown. Search parties have spread out from the city in an attempt to discover where he may have fled to. As the war with Germany continues, it has become clear to all at home and abroad that we that we have the initiative in this war. The only question remains, how much longer will victory elude our grasp? Germany will soon reach it, meet its end. Okay, cool. So we got some Republican Marines ready to go. Uh, let's bring them on down. To, do we want to bring them over to Colombia? Or where can they do more good, I think? 
you know what? Let's uh, let's bring them over here to the Italian front because we're going to use them, I think, to invade into the Balkan areas. Yeah, we need to open up another front over here. So we're going to hit Croatia. Not Croatia. Um, well, basically, yeah, modern-day Croatia. This is this coast here. And everything's just going into modern tanks now. All right, our war goal against Afghanistan is also done. So these guys have been sitting around here for ages. Did I train them up? Okay. <laughs> Boy, that would have been embarrassing. Uh, they've got 47 divisions. I've only got 28. Let's uh, request some forces from the Raj. Um, and we're going to put you... No, not there. Over here. And uh, there we go. Much better. And uh, we're going to have you surround this. Just kind of create a, what you call it, perimeter. And then the 24 divisions that are in place are the ones that are going to actually go on the offensive. Come on. There it is. Okay, go. Wait, no. Oh, it's only 19 divisions. I thought I had more here. Uh, but still, I think we're going to be okay. Let's see. Can we put any... Let's get some air support out here. Not much. Got some strategic bombers, maybe. Oh, I got rocket interceptors. guess that's something. Uh, close air support. Get it over Afghanistan. Let's actually split that. Did I not hit split? What's going on? Okay, there we go. Yeah, so some, some over Afghanistan direct, some over Pakistan. Uh, rocket interceptors don't look that hot right now. Oh, <laughs> have to call them into arms, of course. There we go. I like all those green bubbles. Road to Kabul. Imperial Federation is advancing from victory to victory still. Uh, how much longer is Germany going to hold out on? Uh, there's still a ways to go. Now, meanwhile, let's actually go grab these guys and uh, set them up for a drive into Warsaw. Very good. Very good. You guys keep coming up the coast here. Peru has called in Argentina as our enemy. I thought we were already fighting them, but I guess the wars just combined or something. It's probably something like that that happened. Uh, Venezuela, 100 days. Let's go. There goes Bohemia. We got, they got some modern tanks. Appreciate that. Strategic destruction is done. And then finally, interception detection. Oh, good, we can already take the face of France and Italy. Oh, cool, cool. Um, so we're going we're gonna to wait a little bit on this, actually, and launch some political reforms while we're at it. Uh, but that's good. That's good that we're, uh, we're just about able to do that, even though they technically have not capitulated yet. I want to wait until uh, Germany is finished, probably. Give him this, and oh, he doesn't need the skirmisher paratrooper. No. Well, whatever. Skirmisher is fine. We're gonna lose one division up here from the United States. See, they're starting to spread out. They know that I could potentially encircle now. If I cut across here to Florence, and then uh, Livorno. What? Oh yeah, because General's up there. My bad. Where's my tanks? Are they not in position yet? All right, they're they're getting there. Hurry up! Very nice. Over 11 million and counting for the Germans. 1.3 million for the Austrians. 1.3 million for the Polish. In terms of casualties. Wow. <laughs> Hosev here has lost over 600,000 men and has almost depleted his country as well. All 
Alright, uh, now the Ottomans, I don't think we need to capitulate them, although I am, I'm making very good progress here with my Mountaineer divisions. Um, now that they've arrived. Oops, that's not who I meant to grab. Okay, so Gott here, you are also going to be an infantry expert. Doing great as a Mountaineer. Now, we need to start heading west with these guys. Let's come over here as well, get that final support equipment slot. Actually, the anti-tank stuff is going to, with that piercing, it's going to be more important. Okay. Whoa, what's going on? All right. Um... Now, can we get to Warsaw in this episode? I don't think so, because my tanks are really dragging butt. Um, wow, so look at these Americans go. These are I'm not controlling these guys. They're tearing through um, the Ostmark. <laughs> All right, let's, get, let's, let's see if we can get the encirclement down here in Italy, though, through Florence to Livorno. And that's going to encircle everybody here in the south. We're gonna. I, I kind of want to start already pushing from the south some more here, but let's just surround them, and, and you know they'll die on the vine. All right, so I think now I'm gonna start. I stop, I should say, justifying on other things. Uh, how's it going in Afghanistan? It's going okay, not great. Uh, we're almost done with these areas with the indefensible zones, but why are you not attacking? Let's go. You gotta. Gotta head into Afghanistan. British in Afghanistan. Who ever heard of such a thing? Actually, something that I thought was interesting about the Sherlock BBC reboot that happened a few years ago is uh so the very this isn't spoiling anything by the way, but the very first scene that you see is um the the Watson, the one that's played by uh, Martin Freeman. You see him get wounded in Afghanistan, which is what happened in the original Sherlock Holmes tales because the Return of the Raj. Cool. So uh, they now have a. Uh, Keta. That's almost everything. We still have a little piece of Nepal here. But anyway, so I, I just thought that was, it was kind of like, a, what's the word for it? It was like a dark bit of humor, I guess, that um, the in the original Sherlock Holmes tales, Watson was injured during British uh, military interventions in, Af uh, military forays into uh, Afghanistan. And then the 21st century version of uh Sherlock Holmes that could plausibly happen again because the British were and are still involved in Afghanistan so I just thought that was kind of a kind of a dark kind of humor sort of thing uh, and what is going on somebody's getting released somebody's getting puppeted all right there we go Germany has finally capitulated the cowardly those nation Doshis nation will know it could no longer uh, withstand the pressure so I think uh, now we should get yeah fate of France fate of Germany fate of Italy are all now available to us if you know what's gonna happen please don't spoil it in the comments uh, but uh, we're gonna have something very fun happen at the start of the next episode and I will see you then y'all have yourselves a wonderful day bye